The motor is quite hot. That is what I said directly after running a 2S battery in this truck. So obviously the next best thing to do would be to instantly throw a 3S battery in it without giving it a chance to cool down. And the contents of this video is what happened next. Now we've got a 3S battery in this thing. Continuation from the video from just the other day. 30.6. I want to try that one more time. Thirty-one point three. I'm good with that. All right, let's see what kind of rampage this thing's got. Another broken front axle. At least it's still got two-wheel drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think this thing will actually get a backflip even with two wheel drive on 3S. <laughs> oh, Alright, no backflip, though we probably would be able to get it if it still had four wheel drive, but how about a front flip? Oh. Yeah, there we are. Exactly what I was trying to do. It was. I smell burning motor. <laughs> yeah, there is smoke coming off that motor. I'm not touching it. I'll tell you that. But she is smoking. <laughs> Whew. Smells like burnt motor. I'm not surprised. I expected that to happen, honestly. That was full throttle 3S for a long time. We definitely have a few things to go over. Yeah, I went ahead and took the battery out and let this cool down for like three days because that was insanely hot. She was blazing. You couldn't see it in the video, but there was actually smoke coming from the motor. Really cooked up those innards, but it still works. Obviously the axles are a weak point because the one in the car broke and the extra one that it came with for the front broke as well. I do still have the extra one that fits the rear. And the other thing that broke physically is the front control arm mount for the rear control arms broke free from the rear differential. Now at first glance, it looks like maybe just a couple of screws pulled out of the differential because that is what attaches that brace, that metal brace to the plastic differential. But on further inspection, there is actually a crack and a small chunk missing from that rear differential. Now, I don't really see that as the car's fault because that was some really hard hits this thing took going close to 30 miles an hour and falling from the sky. I do feel this is a very well-made truck. I still think that they use a stronger plastic than they use in the WL toy versions of these cars. The other big plus to this vehicle is that there are endless upgrade parts available for this chassis. You can get metal differential housings if you plan on jumping it around like crazy like we did. Rolarlo themselves are currently working on stronger axles and those will probably be out next month is what they told me. I do not believe that this motor and ESC should be run with 3S. However, it was a lot more fun. We went from 23 miles an hour on 2S to about 31 miles an hour on 3S. 
that's a big jump and it was awesome and it was super fun to run down the street and of course to hit the ramps with. It got hot in about eight minutes. So if you think you can run this for less than five minutes and then have the discipline to stop and put a 2S back in it or give it a break, then you might be okay. I do plan on putting a cheap brushless system in this that's gonna make it even more insane. And I'll probably stick it to just flat ground and not jumping it. But at the same time, I know myself and I'll probably still push its limits. So I think we're gonna see an upgrade video on this, probably put a couple of metal parts on it, a big, juicy, powerful motor. Well, it probably won't be big, but it'll be juicy and powerful. And another really cool, fun run coming with this thing later on. While we ran this on 2S, it certainly stayed cooler than the actual WL Toys versions motor did because probably mostly because it has the heat sink on it. But back to what I said about thinking that this is a pretty well-made truck. They took a very much proven chassis, the WL Toys 144001, which they themselves have improved on by making the brushless version, which we reviewed a couple weeks ago, the 144010. But they took that proven chassis and made what looks like their own improvements on it with I think a higher grade plastic, a chunkier center chassis brace, the heat sink on the motor, battery protector that they put in there to block the battery from getting smacked by a bent or broken drive shaft if that were to happen, or just to keep it from rubbing, a much beefier bumper, and also a stronger wing with a wheelie bar on it. And then yeah, for some reason they put the weaker axles in it, but they are improving that as we speak. They're learning from our feedback. Like I said in the last video on this thing, when you give a company feedback and then they act on that and make improvements, that's really all you can ask for. And that's a really good sign of a company wanting to make a good product. So I really appreciate that. I'm really looking forward to the upgrades I'm gonna do to this thing. And I'm looking forward to the next car that they have that comes out. Now, as far as what broke on here, I almost never have a car make it through an entire run. And again, this is two runs because the first one was the last video and this one was 30 miles an hour. That is faster than most of the cars we have. And the fact that this is the main thing pretty much that broke and then obviously the axles, I'm rather impressed. I would have had a lot more breakage out of this old WL Toys that again shares the same chassis because I do think they put better plastic on this thing. It just feels much more flexible. Plus the fact that I'm jumping this thing really high in the air. These things aren't made for that. I just like to show these big jumps on these cars for one, because that's how I have fun. I expect them to break and I know it's gonna happen, but that potentially shows what might first break after you've run it for a long time in normal or at least more normal circumstances. Now I do enjoy building my own brushless systems on cars that didn't originally come brushless, but I would like to see them make their own brushless version of this that is truly 3S capable without overheating in less than eight minutes. So like I said, be really careful when you use this on 3S. Don't do it for a long time at all. It's a really fun truck. Parts are available all over the place for WL Toys. Plus, like I showed in the last video, the actual review of this car, they do show all the parts needed in the owner's manual. So parts acquisition should not be a problem for this thing at all. I've got a link in the description to purchase this truck if you're interested in it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, night, or morning, and I will see you very soon.